Today we're going to talk about spreadsheets, and a spreadsheet is an electronic ledger. Um, it has alphabetic columns, okay, they're labeled by the alphabet, the columns are themselves, um, across here, and then on the rows over here, they are labeled by numbers. People use them to organize, they use them to analyze information, to create graphs, and calculate things. Uh, it helps them to make decisions. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in budget. We're going to name our file. Always name your file. The next thing we're going to talk about is these are your column headings. Okay, these are your column headings. and if you click these, it will actually select that column. If you actually select A and you hold down the shift key and you select E, it's going to select everything between A and E. Now I'm going to click out here to unselect that. Now if I click here and I hold down the control key and I select a column, then it's only going to select the columns if I hold down that control key. It's only selecting the columns that I actually click on. Okay? Same thing's going to happen here. If I click this, it's going to select that row. But if I hold shift down and I come down here to 19, it's going to select everything in between. Click row 6 and I hold the control key down and I click row 12, it's going to select that one as well. All right, and these are called the row headings, okay, the row headings. All right, so in this first cell, in cell 1, so A1, I'm going to type the word my budget. Now, you can type this information in two places. You can either type it in the formula bar or you can type it here. But you must make sure that you have the cell active before you actually type in it. Otherwise, you're going to type in the wrong place or it may not show up at all. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to change uh, our format here. So, I want to be right here. And I'm going to change this, I don't know, I want something strong looking. I'm going to take Brenda and I'm going to make the size bigger. And to actually make the columns bigger, if you come up here to the column heading, you wait till it turns to that bar, those double bars with arrows on both sides, and you just slide it to where you need it. The same thing happens here. You can slide this down also as you need it. Alright, so I'm also going to change this. Um, so now I'm going to come here and I, I, I really want my words to be in a different color. So I'm going to pick this darker blue and now I'm going to fill, okay, and I've got lots of colors here to pick from, and if you've been with me, you can go in here and pick as well. You can use the hex code, or you can use the RGB codes to actually change these, if you would like. Okay, and according, according to our instructions that we had, we are going to go to A3, and we're going to go all the way over to B, 10, but before I select that, I'm going to hold down okay, my shift key so that it selects all of those cells. Then I'm going to come up here in the font group and I'm going to choose the all borders. The thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to sheet one and we're going to rename it. So I went and I clicked the sheet, sheet one, and then I right clicked and pushed rename and now I can type in the word budget and then I'm going to push OK. That way if I have a lot of these sheets across here I know exactly what that one is being used for. Alright, that's the end of lesson or assignment number three.